is the number one Sierra Alpha Victor N1 SAV Jeff and Pittsfield uh, on a handheld HT at work, and I uh, hope I'm making a repeater. Maybe you can let me know how I'm coming through. Yeah, Jeff, you're you're a hundred percent into the repeater. Uh, let me see, Sean. Hopefully, uh, you've gotten better location, so you can get in. Any words, questions, comments, queries? Thank you, Cam for JHN. Uh, hopefully this is okay. I drug a chair over to my spot where I normally stand. Hopefully standing fixed the problem. You're fine now. A little bit scratchy, but armchair copy and almost 100% into the machine. Thank you. It's beautiful. I, uh... I, I just keep working the handheld I got until uh, we can get a, a shack set up in the house and I can get a, a full-size antenna in the yard, but uh, if I don't keep going, I'll, I'll put it down and forget it, so I, I enjoy being out here tonight, um, out watching the stars. It's a beautiful night. Watching the stars on a, on a nice, halfway warm night's not bad. Uh, do we have any further check-ins for the Newcomers Roundtable? Almost said it. I almost said the Western Mass Traffic Net. I almost said it. Uh, Dave, are you with us? KC1DAX. This is KC1DAX, yep. As a matter of fact, I just signed off with the uh, PSK, so. Uh, not much new going on here. Uh, same old, same old. Did go to the ham fest. Missed a lot of you guys. Kind of expecting to see you and uh, maybe OB and uh, SAB, but uh, I think I ran into one of them. I forget his name now. You know how it is with age. QSN, I believe, was his uh, suffix. Or QSY. <laughs> Anyway, it was a good turnout. There was a lot of people there. Uh, we got there when the doors opened, and good grief, you couldn't get down the aisles. Pulled up a seat over in the corner with the uh, the Aries table and just sat there until things kind of uh, settled down. Then you could actually move through the aisles. But anyway, not much going on here. Just uh, wanted to check in and say hi. KC1DAX, back to net. Yeah, Dave, I couldn't clone myself. My wife was up at the Shaker Road, Loudonville. Taking, taking her tech test, so we were, we were there supporting her. But I will be in Boston Spa um, Saturday because I'm doing the VE session for the uh, test up there. So any of y'all want to come up and check out your NCS once in a while, uh, I will I will be up there. N1SAV, Jeff, uh, wait, what do you got for us? Oh, good evening, uh, everybody on the net. N1SAV here, for those that don't know, the name is Jeff. And, well, I don't have too much. Like I say, I'm at work, so uh, I hope my background is not uh, not too uh, overwhelming. Uh, yeah, I was at the hand fest myself. I saw Gareth from across the room, but uh, like you said, it was kind of elbow to elbow in there, and it just wasn't easy for me to get over to say hi to him. I ran into Rich um, and a few other fellas that I've... Uh, chatted with before. Uh, I was only there for about an hour or so. Uh, I brought the wife along with me just for company, and she wanted to get out of the house anyway. And that was her first hand fest, but she, uh, you know, that, that doesn't tickle her fancy. You know, it's really not her kind of thing. So uh, let me drop it. So anyway, uh, so yeah, about an hour or so I was there, but I did come home with some goodies. I picked up a nice uh, desk bike for my uh, Kenwood 440, and uh, I picked up another uh, dual bander mobile, Yezu, and that's a nice radio. Uh, I had an Icom dual bander I was using. I was having trouble with the squelch on it, and, uh, well, you know, it was only a 25 water, and, well, I, the price was right on this one, so I grabbed it, and I'll retire that Icom for a while anyway. 
So, uh, with that, N1 SAV, back to that. If I uh, don't come back on my next time around, I'll still be in the loop. I just have, might have to run off and do something there. So, N1 SAV, back to that. Alright, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, I heard that was a nice hand pass there. Wish I could have been there, but uh, the, the YL took priority and, and, uh, and uh, supporting her getting test, her test. So, is there any further check-ins to the newcomers roundtable? November one, Alpha. November Delta. Recognizes N one A N D. Um, okay, we'll go. A any comments, queries, um, anything? Uh, what do you got to say to us? Okay, I'm four J H N with comment. I uh, I also made it down to the ham fest with my girlfriend. Uh, Amy is a KM4JHL, Juliet Hotel, Lima. Uh, we made it down, it sounds like we made the later half of the uh, ham fest and hung out for some raffles. It was a good time, I believe. N1 and Andy, is that you? I believe we met down there. Um, uh, the other gentlemen, Dave and Jeff, I think we uh, we took care of the second half for you guys. All in all, it was a uh, definite good time, and we enjoyed getting to uh, meet some locals, and uh, uh, definitely was still a full house come, come noon. Uh, and back to net. N1-A-N-D. Um, go ahead. Your turn. Yeah, okay, Peter. And, uh, and hello to you, Sean. And uh, it was nice uh, seeing you and Amy uh, at the Ham Fest. Good time was had by all there. I mean, we always have a good time there. I, I haven't been able to uh, catch up with uh, 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 KB1VWQ because he won my radio. I was supposed to win that... Uh, that <laughs> can was here. And uh, Jeff told me if I bought a ticket, I'd win, but I didn't. Yeah, um, uh, Danny won it, but that's okay, too, I guess. Anyway, yeah, good time was had by all. I have one question, uh, Peter. Uh, did your XYL pass? Yes, she did. Um, she only got three wrong, so now we're just waiting for the FCC to do its thing. Okay, great. I assume she was going for attack? Yes, sir. Okay, well, welcome aboard to her. And uh, the more the merrier. You know, we got to keep uh, we got to keep the uh, the, the uh, amateur bands in use. Yeah, you know, they say if uh, if you don't use it, you lose it. And um, that's why. Uh, I belong to the ARRL for the simple reason that they uh, they do have uh, lobbyists down there in Washington protecting our interests. Other than that, uh, they uh, uh, buy in their uh, their uh, publications and so forth and on. Uh, they're they're just a little bit too hungry for me. I do pay the dues, which went up this year, uh, and uh, and belong to the ARRL and. Um, and that's as far as it goes. Uh, back to you. As soon as she gets her call signed, we're going to get her hooked up with the ARRL. And here, here, here's the interesting. Walmart online is selling ICOM 718. So they're starting to put some uh, amateur radio on the uh, on their site. Do we have any other check-ins for the newcomers roundtable? Okay, we'll go back to the top of the list. N120Z, OB. 
Okay, thanks, Peter. Well, it's in front of me. There's a, an eclipse happening tomorrow evening, uh, 6 19. Uh, this local time, uh, I guess you can view it on NASA, on NASA TV, and there's probably a few, few other places. I um, imagine uh, Google Live is probably handling that, and a telescope place named SLU, S L O O H. So, uh, Tomorrow night, 6.19 via the internet, uh, eclipse happening uh, around, what, Australia and down that area. And one QOV back tonight. KOV, thank you. Uh, Sean, KM4JHN, you are up. Let's see. Trying to remember to call. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I'll have to start writing them down there. And one SAV back to that. I think the only real topic is the ham fest at this point. This is the newcomer's round table. Do we have any other check-ins? There is KC2, BLE, Kilo Charlie 2, Bravo Lima Echo, and here's Ted. And that recognizes KC2, BLE, Ted. Doug, N1AND, your turn. Okay, Peter, um, Jeff. Um, N1SAV, where the heck were you? I didn't see you. We were there right at the opening, just about, I guess, Dave, uh, DAX and I were there, um, I would say, you know, about, uh, um, no later than 20 of 9. The, the doors opened at 8.30. And, uh, we stayed until, uh, good grief, I don't know, 1 o'clock, I think, it seems like, I don't know, after, uh, after Danny won the, the big TS-590 out from under me, I said, that's it, we're leaving. I didn't see you there. Where the heck were you? Well, I was floating around there, Doug. I, I looked there. I didn't see you. Uh, of course, I had to look over some heads, too, you know, to try to. There was a lot of people there. It was kind of tough. Uh, yeah, I was hoping to run into you. Uh... Like I said, I saw Dave from across the room, and that's about as close as I was able to get. Because I was still looking, uh, you know, at what was uh, what was there for gear and equipment. But anyway, yeah, and I had the wife. She came with me. She wanted to get out of the house. So uh, she came along with me, and uh, I was saying earlier, ham fests are not her thing. So uh, yeah, I didn't want to leave her sitting there, you know, for hours on end there waiting for me. So uh after about an hour or so, and I got the stuff I was looking for and a few other little doodads, uh, that was it. We headed back there. It was about 9.30, quarter of time we were out of there. Uh, and when I see me. Okay, very good. <laughs> Jeff, I'm, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh, in the early like that, uh, when we first went in there, it was so packed. You know, you could hardly walk around. And uh, Dave and I, some some of the old timers, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to think of his name there, um, MUV uh, from uh, Wilbraham. We were we were kind of sitting over on the side there after a while, uh, resting because it was just a uh, uh, you know uh, too packed. But it, it did thin out a little bit later on, and so we got to go around again and. Uh, we had a good time. I did meet, uh, as I said, Sean and Amy were there, and um, uh, and a whole bunch of other uh, people from up in uh, in the Novark uh, group uh, that were there that I met. I was glad to see, and so we had a good time. Anyway, uh, sorry we missed you there. Uh, N one A N D. Uh, back to net, Peter. K one F F K. Hey, KC1, KC2, BLE, Ted, comments, questions, questions, queries, what do you got for us? Uh, not too much going on up here. I'm from uh, Hudson Falls, New York. Uh, like I said, not, not an awful lot going on. Uh, we have a, uh, several repeaters up this way. Uh, a couple of them were down for a bit, but... Uh, I believe is back up. Birch uh, Hill was given some issues, but I believe that's back up. So uh, anybody that uh, uses these North Country repeaters, uh, we should be uh, glad to know that uh, they're back up. Uh, back to net control, KC2 BLE. Good to have another New Yorker in here with me. Uh, is any further check-ins to the newcomers around table? Okay, back to the top of the list. N one two O V O B. Okay, all right. I have no problem anyway. 
Uh, what do we got happening here? Uh, do, 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 weather, I guess, weather. Here in Pittsfield, uh, it's 45 degrees, overcast. So they say, I can't see it, but wind out of the west up five. Looks like uh, fairly nice weather and warming up. A little bit of rain coming in Wednesday right through to Friday. So that's, that's something. Uh, oh, KC1AEO did a real nice job uh, this evening running the uh, Mima Racy's net. Uh, I put that on, uh, on video record uh, in case. And something, 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 I forget. I'll get it next time if there's still in that uh, N1QOV back to that. Thanks, OBKM4JHN. Sean, we're up to you again. Thank you, Peter. Uh, congratulations to your wife. I, I missed that last time. Uh, again. The more the merrier. Um, uh, my better half actually brought me into the hobby. Break. <laughs> we uh, we're looking for just new skills, and and uh, we hope in the near future, once we get ourselves a little more established in our new home here, uh, to uh, find some way to share or or get get the bring the more people into it because it really is uh it really has been a good time for us uh things like the ham fest and hanging out with you guys here uh back to net yeah she's going to uh, a couple of the club meetings and probably to the swap fest up in boston spa but like, she's got it easy i put all the antennas and get all the radios up and running and all she's got to do is talk on them uh, put on our coin. Any uh, check in for the newcomers uh, roundtable? Throw out your call. Okay, Dave, KC1DAX, back to you. 82 JKB, KC1 DAX, thank you, Peter. Uh, just a little note to your XYI, Peter. Uh, have her check for her call sign in the ARRL database. Because I don't know how it works with everybody else, but with me, it was there a good, oh, geez, must have been a good solid week before it showed up in the FCC database. And by law, all she has to do is wait until it's published. So <clears throat> have her check the ARRL first. No doubt it'll show up there uh, before anywhere. And again, tell her uh, welcome to the hobby. And Jeff, if you're still in there, I'm telling you, I don't know how you miss us, because uh, Doug and I were there, like I said, like he said, shortly after 8.30. We stayed until after 1. And we were together the most of the time. You must have looked over the one time that Doug decided to browse through the aisles. Because Doug, myself, and uh, <clears throat> Tom from the races that uh, N1MUV, we were parked in those chairs <laughs> for most of the time, except when uh, I didn't get to browse around the tables until, geez, it must have been 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Uh, let me drop it. But anyway, that's how it goes. We'll just have to wait. Maybe we'll uh, run into you at the Nobark uh, uh, ham fest whenever that comes up here. And let's see, what else did I want to say? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm wondering if anybody that happens to be on... Uh, the frequency now has ever done any two-meter sideband operation. Uh, Joe, uh, who runs the Wednesday uh, net on the 940, kind of got me interested in it, uh, and I'm looking into getting an antenna. I'm just wondering if anybody has done any two-meter sideband. Apparently all you need is a two-meter uh, antenna uh, horizontally polarized. And there is a net apparently in uh, right over the border in Connecticut I just wonder if anybody on frequency has done any two meter side then. KC1 DAX, back to net. And one QOV. Go ahead, OB. Yeah, there's not much uh, activity on two meter side being. The only one I know of is uh, when the VHF contest uh, happens. The uh, 
uh, who is it? Uh, over in New York, the uh, Tom <laughs> Dick Fry and his group, uh, the great extraditionary force from uh, what what uh, college university is it? They go up on Greylock and, and they work uh, FM side band and everything uh, on all the VHF UHF uh, frequencies. That's the only time I've uh, I've really heard side band to any extent. Uh, OB, have you ever heard a group called the uh, News? Uh, what is it? North New England Weak Signal Club, apparently, who specializes in uh, two meter sideband. And they're based, uh, I believe it's just south of me, not in Hartford, but one of the little towns around Hartford. Have you ever heard them on the air? No, no I haven't. I don't really follow sideband that much, and I don't get on there. Anyway, yeah, there is a Weak Signal group, uh, I believe. Uh, down at MIT, when they have their get-togethers and ham uh, flea markets, it's a big thing at MIT. Locally, who is it? Uh, Zigard. What the heck Zigard's called? But, uh, yeah, there's interest in the you know, weak signal group. All right, Obi, thanks for the info. Casey, one DAX back to that. Okay, do we have any uh, check-ins for the newcomers' roundtable? Trying to get in, not quite making it in. <laughs> that brings us on the list to N1SAV. Jeff, go ahead, your turn. All right, Peter, N1SAV here. Well, I gotta say, on uh, the first subject there, yeah, I saw Dave, I did not see Doug. That uh, must have been just that timing, like you mentioned there, that, uh, Dave. Uh, so, there you go. It's just one of those things. But, yeah, I'm sure we'll meet at the Nobark. Uh, let's see. What was next there? Um, I wanted to let Doug know also, uh, seeing that he's on frequency here, and I didn't see him at the net, but at the, uh, at the hand fest. Uh, the 101 and the 520 are still up and running perfectly. Absolutely no issues. And I'm keeping them perfectly pristine, clean, just as you had them. Uh, those babies are not going to get filthy by no stretch of the imagination. I'm going to keep real good care of those babies. They're very, very nice rigs. Very, very nice. And Dave, I had a two-meter sideband radio. It's an older ICOM. Uh, if I recall, the model is the 251A, if I remember. Uh, but it puts out 10 watts. End of story. Uh, so, but I used it locally, vertical uh, antennas, but I mean, I was just talking around Pittsfield, you know, uh, to some of my friends, uh, N1SAW for one, and uh, uh, I think it was one of time. Uh, Hello, Dave, time out. Over. APU. Release. Clear. Repeater. Ready. Uh, serious side band. You yeah. should be uh, horizontal there. Get a beam up in the air and get yourself some amplification. And, uh, you can do it. There's a fellow I talk with on 80 meters once in a while. Uh, it's called as N2UIO. His name is George. And uh, he loves doing two meter stuff. He's got a, a, a I guess he's got a tower there. He's got his uh, antennas up pretty high for two, two meter VHF, UHF, I guess. Uh, so uh, anyway, he's uh, he's into that kind of stuff as well. You know, I'd love to try it. You know, I'd love to get a horizontal beam up there for two meters. So, you know, if I knew it was going to be worth doing, uh, in other words, if there was enough people to chit chat with, that'd be great. I'd love to do it. But uh, anyway, maybe it'll work sometime there, Dave. Uh, you never know. We'll have to give it a shot. Uh, N1SAV, back to that. And we kind of we kind of missed the middle of your of your uh, comment there. You kind of timed the repeater out in the middle. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I don't want the coffee. Uh, where was I? Um, about the sideband, and then you dropped out, and then you came back, and you were talking about amplifiers. So anything in the middle of that before amplifiers is 
when you got caught in the timeout. Oh, okay, my fault. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I guess uh, it was something along the lines that the uh, radio I have is a 10 water, uh, and I would love to try sideband. Uh, a fellow I talked with in New York on 80 meters is into uh, the VHF, UHF, and he's got an antenna system that's up really high, and uh, he does some of that sort of stuff. But if you really want to get out and try it, uh, you know, getting that stuff can be expensive, getting it up high, but it's got to be worth it. You want to have the people to talk to and stuff there. So I think that's pretty much the gist of what I said there. I hope uh, I hope I covered it. Uh, and one SAV, back to that. Do we have any other check-ins for the newcomers round table? radio only does uh, FM, so I think I'm missing out on the sideband side of this stuff. Uh, Doug, N1AND, your turn. Uh, okay, thank you, Peter. Uh, and Dave, yeah, I'm very interested in uh, trying uh, a two-meter sideband. Uh, I have been before, but nobody was uh, nobody was interested. Nobody wanted to get into it. I I got the little, uh, you know, the little handheld beam which I can put on a camera tripod, you know, and I can I can run that vertical or horizontal. And uh, I'd like to put it on horizontal and uh, and try some two-meter sideband. I don't know, uh, you know, uh, uh, VHF is really uh, basically a kind of a, a line of sight uh, uh, propagation. And, uh, and I am down here in such a, a, a hall here. And I'm, the bottom of the ball in beautiful downtown Munson. Uh, but um, I would love to try, uh, uh, see if there's anybody around. Well, but we need to get people involved in it's what it is. You know, uh, if nobody's there, everybody goes, eh, eh, well, they don't do it anymore. <laughs> so we need to kind of organize and uh, get some people involved. I would really like to try uh, two-meter uh, uh, sideband day. Back to uh, Net. And one SAV. Quick question for Dave. Go ahead, Jeff. Thank you, Peter. Dave, uh, you mentioned that uh, New England Week Signal Club there. Is that the one from Connecticut you were just talking about? And uh, what is the frequency, if you know? Uh, yeah, that is the one I was talking about, Jeff. And she's. I tell you, if you Google NEWS, the New England Week Signal uh, Club, you'll come up with the. Uh, well, you know how Google is. You come up with a list. They're at the very top of the list, and one of them lists the frequencies that they work. And they are, uh, according to their what I was able to glean from their website there, they are pretty active. Now, uh, that's why I figured you yeah, would give it a try. I've got the radio for it. Uh, besides my dedicated HF, uh, HF rig, I've still got my Yezu 897, and that has two-meter sidebands, so and that's 50 watts. So I think I'd have enough power to... The only thing is, is to get a, a horizontally polarized antenna up there. And I've got the mask to put it on, and I've been uh, doing a little research, and I'm going to get a rotator for it, because the antenna I'm looking at doesn't need a, I think it's only like 8 pounds, so I don't need one of those massive $1,500 rotators. Uh, let me drop. So I'm definitely going to give it a try, and Doug, uh, I imagine you'll be one of the first ones I'll try to contact with. But you're right, I don't know about, you know, we got the Wolverham Mountains in between us. I'm on one side, <laughs> you're on the other, but what the heck, we'll give it a shot anyway. But uh, Jeff, go ahead and Google that, and you'll come up with all the information. They have meetings, and uh, one of the links there lists the frequencies that they operate and the times. And if I remember, I believe it was Thursday evenings they have a kind of a get-together a net. And I really don't remember exactly what the frequency was. I'd have to look it back up. KC1DAX, back to that. Okay, we will go on to Ted, KC2BLE. Your turn. Yes, uh, well, I'm not doing too much of anything uh, as far as side game goes. Uh, Maybe just get my station back on the air so I can do it. I was uh, away from it for a while. It takes a, takes a little bit of time, one step at a time, to, to get things back up the way I want. Uh, I belong to a local group up here. There are a lot of members are out 
doing the uh, end polar stuff. So uh, they're having a, well, having a great time doing that, going activating the national park sites. And uh, everybody has got uh, something that they're doing and uh, enjoying quite well. Uh, another group are uh, trying to trying to get together to work out one of some of these mesh nodes for uh, for repeaters. I don't quite understand all of that, but that's from the 900 megahertz range. And, well, there's quite a bit going on. Uh, just listening uh, to people talking, you know there's a lot to do in this hobby. So uh, it's good that we've got uh, new people coming in. KC2, DLE, back to net control. And we go back to the top of the list. N1QOV, OB. <laughs> I just remembered uh, if anybody knows uh, WA1SJG. Susan, it's her birthday. It didn't show. It didn't show up on uh, on Facebook, but anyway, it's her birthday. Still have what? How many hours to wish her a happy birthday? Uh, I just looked up the uh, New England, da, 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 and I don't see uh, the thing here. Uh, apparently, I'm not doing uh, whatever American Radio Relay League. Uh, okay, that aware uh, long that. Anyway, Susan, it's Susan's birthday. And this is KD2JKV, your moderator for the newcomers round table. Do we have any check ins? This is WA1AES Mobile, Pittsfield, Ernie here. Good evening, Paul. It recognizes WA1AES. Go ahead. Comments, questions, questions, queries. Well, it feels like springtime out here. I wonder where winter went, but uh, <laughs> doesn't bother me. Back just on the way home here from a uh, little music rehearsal. Very pleasant evening out here. I guess it's going to get a little better uh, deeper into the week. Hope all is well, and happy birthday to the uh, the young lady there. WA1AES, back to net control. Don't, 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 don't say anything about winter. It's, hopefully it's gone and won't come back till next year. Uh, Sean, KM4JHN, you're up. This is KM4JHN, and I will not say a thing about winter. Moving on, um... Activities I, I myself and Amy are looking forward to exploring a lot of new mountains with the summits on the air. If there's anyone in the group that has any uh, good uh, answers doing the summits on the air, uh, feel free to hop in and uh, point me the right direction. K one F F K. And uh, with that, I'll give it back to you guys. I don't, I don't know anybody uh, doing anything. Um, maybe I'll go up this summer and maybe activate one up in the Adirondacks. We'll, uh, we'll see how that works out. Dave, we're up to you. KC1DAX. Uh, Peter, thank you. Uh, the station there was uh, talking about getting into summits on the air. Uh, Doug, N1AND, myself, and Dave, I forget, uh, N1MFL, I believe. We did a summits activation on Talcott Mountain in Connecticut last year, and it was really pretty simple. Dave's got one of those uh, slide-up poly towers. It's no more than, I think, 20 feet that we tied to the bumper. He ran a very fine line, uh, must have been like about 18-gauge copper wire up to it, and hooked it up to a Yezu 857, and uh, we did real well. Uh, the three of us working and made at least uh, five contacts apiece. Just about all over the uh, the area. Uh, we even made a few close in Connecticut and a bunch of them down south. And uh, really, that's about that's about all it's, that uh, there is to it. You just need a battery for power, and uh, you could even throw something over a tree. We've done that on Mount Tom. Uh, just throw a wire over a tree, and uh, you know it's really pretty easy to set up. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's nice to get out in the weather. Uh, let me break. Another thing, I don't know how many of you guys on station have ever done PSK-31. 
I tell you, it is really an enjoyable mode. It's uh, easy to get into. All you really need, if you have a computer, is uh, a couple of interfacing cables. It, you're better off to get the Signal Link USB module because that eliminates any ground loops or interference that you might get from your computer. Plus, it, uh, it isolates uh, your computer systems from your radio. But that's all you need. You download that in DigiPan 2.0 and you're in business. And it's uh, basically keyboard to keyboard. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You can, uh, unlike JT65, where you're limited to 13 characters, you can talk with as long as you want. As long as the station on the other end is willing to chew the rag with you, you can go, you know, 15, 20 minutes, no problem. And the range uh, is really good. 25 watts gets me, what's the longest I've made so far? I've been all over Eastern Europe from it, from Iceland all the way down to South Africa, so you don't need a lot of power, you don't need a lot of antenna. Uh, I'd recommend it to anybody who wants to try a different mode. Uh, KC1DEX back to net. Yeah, I was actually, I was just talking about that today with somebody. I'm going to order my, uh, the signal link for uh, my HF and get on the digital stuff. Let's see, where are we here? Jeff, N1SAV, your turn. Okay, we'll go to uh, Doug, N1AND. Yeah, okay, Peter. Yeah, Jeff's at work, so he must have got uh, uh, called away from the radio. And Dave, I, uh, I brought up uh, NEWS on the uh, on the confuser, and it's uh, the Northeast Week Signal Group, and uh, K1FO. Located in Long Meadow, I guess, is the uh, the head of that group there. I would like to try um, uh, a two-meter uh, sideband. I think it would be a lot of fun. And, of course, I, I, it's bad for me where I live down here in the hole, but uh, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I could uh, mobile up. Listen, it's going to be uh, 65 degrees on Wednesday. You and I, Rich, got to go somewhere in... Uh, and do some portable work again. And uh, and I don't know if anybody's listening, uh, like Dave said, we made these little 9-to-1 uh, uh, un -un transformers, and uh, I took a piece of wire. I couldn't even believe it. And Dave and I, uh, uh, Dave threw it over a, a tree branch, and a little wire that you clearly couldn't see <laughs> unless the sun hit it just right. And, uh, and we were talking to a guy over in uh, London, England, uh, with that thing, it was just amazing. Um, uh, and, you know, you don't need a whole lot of power in a minute. Time out. Time out. Over. APU. Release clear. Repeater. Ready. Yeah, I guess I didn't drop it quick enough. Uh, but anyway, um, I had a, a signal link USB um, um, a little modem to uh, connect my uh, radio to the computer and everything else. But you know, I, after I used it a few times, and then I said, you know, I don't even I don't even need that. I can I can do the same thing with just the computer without the radio, and that's not uh, what I'm interested in amateur radio about. So uh, I saw that and uh, and got away from that uh, that that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, I really would be interested, Dave, if you uh, if you uh, can find out any more about it in doing um, in uh, doing two meter uh, sideband stuff. N one A N D back to net. I'm going to have to pick up uh, find a radio that does sideband so I can get in on this with you guys. This is the newcomers roundtable. This is Kilo Delta Two, Julia Kilo Victor, your moderator for the evening. Do we have any further check ins?
Digital modes are great. Uh, what were we talking about? I can't think at the moment. Too many things going on. Uh, oh, yeah, PSK. It's great, 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 great. Uh, uh, minimum power and uh, da, da, da. And you can uh, still copy. I was doing it for a while. And also, uh, slow scan TV is interesting. But uh, anyway, <laughs> the digital. Anyway, next meeting of uh, Noberg, March 27th at 7 p.m. at the Berkshire Humane Society Building, 214 Bark Road in Pittsfield. Also there, you can uh, figure out how to uh, grab some information to join the Northern Berkshire Amateur Radio Club. Uh, what else is going on here? PSK 31. And... Uh, Slow scan TV. What was I using? MMS TV and a slow scan. And I forget the other one. Uh, but anyway. Okay. Back to that. Hey, yeah. SSTV. I haven't uh, I haven't seen anybody doing a lot of that as of late. Um, that'd, be, that'd be nice. Uh, I might try to resurrect that a little bit. KM4, JHN. Sean, you back with us? I'm at control permission to leave, wa one yes. Hey, Ernie, I got you out. 73. 73, all with the wa one yes. Back to that. This is KM4, JHN. Sean, still here. Uh, hanging out. Hey, your turn. Anything to uh, jump in with? I do have many thanks. Uh, listening.
listening. Uh, I'm I'm still standing in my driveway with a handheld. So uh, many thanks to. my last round. I'm going to step out here, but, uh, break, break. Uh, last 
uh, last week, Monday, uh, we had a presentation on DMR. And a couple of the guys went out and did get a hold of some DMR radio. And uh, we have a, we do have a repeater at Willard Mountain that uh, we can reach from uh, Hudson Falls, Glen Falls, Queensbury area. So uh, we've been up and playing with that. I haven't, but uh, they're uh, they're enjoying the, the DMR for uh, running the ins and outs of it. Uh, and the presentation was quite interesting. Uh, what you can do and, uh, and what's available. So uh, it was it, it was a very uh, informative uh, presentation. KC2 BRE back to net control. Yeah, um, and 2 LEN gave the gave the DMR present presentation to the couple of clubs here. Uh, I'm going to wait till they figure out how to put it all in one. There's no point getting three different HTs for three different fusion or three different uh, digital modes. All right, we'll make it one more round to go around. So go ahead, it'll be last round. Okay, I'll make this my last thing that's winding down. Uh, mention field day, field day, field day, CQ field day. <laughs> I never knew about field day for a whole bunch of years after I got my ticket. Uh, anyway, uh, that's usually on the last full weekend in June, setting up what generators and tents and whatever. Uh, no bark usually has it in where Windsor, Windsor, uh, Massachusetts. But anyway, last for weekend in June, field day, it's always a good time. We're always looking for uh, operators or helpers or whatever. And looking at the uh, no bark website again, looks like the ham fest is uh, August 28th of this year, August 28th in uh, Adams, Massachusetts. So that'll be my final. Uh, thanks for picking up the net, uh, Peter, and one Q will be back tonight. K one F F K. Hey, thanks, OB seventy three. Okay, Ted K C two B L E. You got the final final for the night. Yeah, well, well, it, uh, it's been a good net. Uh, I don't get down here as often as I used to, but I'm trying to get back on more often. Uh, good to see that the net is still going after all these years. And, uh, yes, yeah. I don't know how many have made the pilgrimage. I haven't yet, but I intend to this year. Uh, we are so close to the ARRL home office that uh, I would think that it would behoove any of us to take the time to, to go there and have a uh, have a good tour of the uh, headquarters facility. Operate W1AW. Uh, there's a few of our people that go uh, pretty regular, and I'm gonna uh, jump in with them one one of these times that they go. It's an all day trip uh, from here, and uh, they enjoy themselves immensely uh, and take pictures and all of that stuff. So just try to throw that out there. We do live close enough. That it's a long day trip for some, uh, closer for you guys than uh, mass. But uh, it behooves everybody to take a chance and go see the headquarters. KC2 BLE, back to net control, 73 all. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, one of the trip, one of the trips I got planned is to go see, uh, go to the league and, and, and go run WA1AW. This is a good net. Uh, this has been a regular bi-weekly meeting of the No Bark N1 ISB Newcomers Roundtable. I'd like to thank No Bark, the Northern Berkshire Amateur Radio Club, for its sponsor and the use of the Greylock repeater. We will now return the repeaters to regular amateur use. Thanks to all that checked in tonight, the net is secure at 8.35 p.m. This is KD2JKV 